Good afternoon, South Carolina FFA. My name is Nicole Witt. I'm representing the Lawrence FFA chapter from the Piedmont region. So as a ninth grader, I never pictured I would be up here giving a speech in front of almost a thousand people. The thought of it would make me cry. So watching myself transform through the past four years of my high school career and my FFA career, it's been an experience. So these are my steps on how I transformed. So you green hands out there, listen up. As a ninth grader, I was very shy. I was sullen. I was quite frankly depressed. Was not happy with where I was. So recognizing that helped me realize that I'm the only one who can change it. I'm the only one who can put forth the effort to make myself happy. I'm the only one who can do the things that I need to do to get to where I need to be. So realizing this, I put myself out into my FFA chapter because I was interested in animals. So that's where I started to try to get myself out there to make more friends and be happy. Going through my ninth grade year doing that, it helped a little bit, but I still needed to follow some more steps. My 10th grade year, I looked to my left and I looked to my right. I saw the people that I was surrounded by, who I thought were friends, they were not. So looking and seeing who I was surrounded by, I was seeing them control me, seeing them tell me what I was allowed to do, what I wasn't allowed to do, watching them say that, no, you can't be a member. Why, are you, why do you think that you're going to be an FFA? Why are you even trying to stay involved in agriculture? No, you can't do that. Literally controlling me. So I pushed those people away. I got them out of my life and I joined my FFA family. And that's really what they are. They're up there in those stands right now listening to me and they're my family. They're more family to me than some of my blood relatives. And that's how it should be. So following that step made me feel a little bit better about myself, but I wasn't quite ready to be like where I am now. So my 11th grade year, I was watching all of the senior people in that FFA chapter in my family, watching how they showed their leadership skills, watching how they presented themselves, just seeing how they became successful and observing them, watching them, getting pointers from them helped me get to my fourth step, being to purpose to action, which is our theme this year. Now I'm up here right now in front of you showing you my action, showing you that I am part of this family, this whole family of South Carolina FFA showing you that I am here and I'm ready to make a stand. So that is how I transformed from a depressed and shy person who would never think of to do things like this into someone who's ready to walk out on stage and speak to you guys today. So I hope that you green hands out there will take the chance to let yourselves do that. Because it starts with that. It starts with you allowing yourselves to want to become happier, to want to put yourself out there and make friends and just allow yourself to have fun. Because that's what this is all about, is having fun, meeting new friends, and learning about agriculture. Once again, my name is Nicole Witt. I am from the Lawrence FFA chapter, and I am representing the Piedmont region. Thank you. In 50 years, long time, right? But anyway, in 50 years, when you're looking through your closet and you see this old FFA jacket, what would have meant to you? And what was your impact? And more importantly, what was between your emblems? For some people, it's just a jacket. But for many, including myself, that jacket transformed their entire life. 
For some, it was a safe haven. For some, it was a found calling. And for some, including myself, it was a comfort zone breaker. I was as nervous as could possibly be my freshman year when my ag teacher was like, you're gonna do a public speaking CDE and you're gonna win. I was like, Busby, you're absolutely ridiculous. I'm not gonna win. I c there is no way that I would possibly ever win because speaking to a group of five people was ridiculous. I mean, when you're a freshman, the last thing you wanna hear is public speaking. It's terrifying. But when I went to compete, I looked for someone who was outgoing and funny and nice, and I found that person in Brandon Myers. He encouraged me and was the person that I needed him to be right then. He was caring, and I aspire to have that very same amount of care and char charisma between my emblems. And you must be wondering, emblem to emblem, what does that mean? Well, emblem to emblem. What's here? What's in between your emblems? What do you stand for? Do you stand for diversity, including everybody? Because I guarantee you not one of you are similar. Every single one of you are different. And as a current, as a current officer candidate, I will aspire to reach out to candidate, to reach out to members and inspire them the same way that I was inspired and encourage them the same way that I was encouraged. Ephesians 4.16 says, he makes the whole body fit together perfectly. As each part is doing its own special work, it allows the other parts to grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. And what I take from this is that there needs to be an inner working of members, officers, and advisors to help raise each other up and be successful. As I continue on my FFA journey, I will keep Matthew chapter 6, verses 3 and 4 in mind. As you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give to those in private, and your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. What I take from this is that if you, as you give to the needy, be humble. Have a servant's heart. Don't do it for you. Do it for that person because in that moment, you were the greatest thing. You could be the greatest thing during that day that they had. They could be having the worst day. And just saying a kind word like, hey, you look nice, could make their whole week. And if you think about it, that small impact that you have on someone could really transform them. How has someone transformed you in that way? If you really genuinely care about something, like you probably care about FFA, think about the impact that you could have if you just reach out and take that opportunity. That opportunity that is just sitting there and you don't want to take because you're scared, you're, letting so you're giving it to someone else. Harness your gifts and take it. When you start out as a green hand and you like public speaking, Start out in Creed, move on to Prepared, and then to Extemp, or whatever CDE that you like. Do not let that opportunity slide away from you. And together, I hope if I'm your state officer, I will reach out to Green Hands and encourage them the same way that I was encouraged. And I hope that as your future state officer, that I will be able to see that transformation between you two, between you all. Hey y'all, I'm Kelsey Johnson and I'm from the Pillion FFA chapter representing the Mid-State region. I'm sure that everybody in this room can think of a tree that just takes your breath away. For me, it's the angel oak on John's Island. I can see it now, the strong and weathered trunk, encased by twirling branches that span nearly 200 feet across. And every year, people go to visit the tree to admire its size and in its beauty. But for myself, I admire the tree for an entirely different reason. I admire the transformation. Starting out as a seed, the tree has lived nearly 400 years on this earth. During that time, it has endured floods, drought, hurricane, and so many other forces whose sole intention was destruction. 
And although the trees had some damage over the years, with a little help from others, it's been able to transform in order to survive. And so you're probably thinking, why is this girl talking to me about a tree? What does it have to do with me or the FFA? And my answer to that is that you and the angel oak have a lot more in common than you might would think. Starting out as a seeds, we grow and endure the ups and the downs of life. And as the years pass, we either succumb to the pressures and fall by the wayside, or we use our experiences to make us stronger. And you and I both know the path that the angel oak took. Peter Marshall was a previous chaplain of the US Senate. And he once said, for when we long for life without difficulties, let us remind each other that oaks grow strong in contrary wind and diamonds are made under pressure. And as your representative, for a South Carolina state officer position, I will acknowledge those times of difficulty as opportunities to uplift and encourage my fellow members to transform agricultural education and the FFA. Thank you. Hello, South Carolina FFA members, advisors, and guests. My name is Mackenzie Jones, and I am from the Anderson FFA chapter, representing the Piedmont region. Now, when I first started in agriculture three years ago, I had no idea what I was getting into. When I walked into my first ag class, I didn't know anything, because I came from an area where we didn't really talk about farming within the city. So when I got here, I was amazed at what the FFA was and what it did. And I was amazed by how we come together in a group with our blue corduroy and our emblems. Our emblems teach us how to transform with everything that we do. So today, I want you guys to take a second and look at your emblem with me. Now first, I want to take a look at the shield of friendship. With friendship, we have people that will provide powerful messages to us and be able to boost our impact as a group. With the cross-section of corn, it proves to us that there are FFA members across the country that are transforming their chapters and their communities just like us every single day. And then when we look at the wise owl, we think of our advisors that guide us and teach us that through wisdom, we can always achieve our goal. And as we look at the plow, we are reminded that labor is always needed to transform ourselves or to change the future. The plow is a symbol of labor. So in order to achieve winning a CDE or doing your SAE or standing up here on stage and not being completely terrified, you have to put in the labor and the effort and the work to do this. And then you take a look at the rising sun. The rising sun is a token of a new era in agriculture. So when I look at that, it reminds me that from day to day, if I don't achieve my goal that day, I can always do it again tomorrow, and so can you. And lastly, I look at the eagle that gives me the freedom to stand up here and talk to you guys today, and gives you the freedom to stand up in your community and preach about agriculture and talk about how awesome we are as a group. Now, when I talk about the emblem, I see what I see. But it's also the way that FFA was always done and the way that we were taught in our classrooms. Sorry. My FFA advisor has a poster in her classroom that talks about each part of the emblem. And that's why I wanted to share that with you guys today. Because within each part, it reminds us of a different way that we can transform the future and that we can transform everybody sitting in this room. From the shy green hand that's really scared to get up in class like I used to be, to a person or a state officer candidate standing up here talking to you guys today. I hope to represent you guys next year as a state officer. My name is Mackenzie Jones and I'm from the Piedmont region. Thank you.
Like many of you, I did not grow up with your typical agricultural background. I grew up away from agriculture, but always seeing the tractors and the farmers out in the field. And I knew that's the niche I want to fit in. When I get older, I want to go up there and I want to say, hey, I want to be one of those guys out there dealing with agriculture and dealing with that kind of area. But I couldn't find that niche. I couldn't find that spot where I fit into there. Until the day I walked into my first ag class and until the day I first put on this blue corduroy. And ever since that day, I have gained a family of over 600,000 members across this nation. And ever since then, I've gained a family of all 7,500 South Carolina members. My name is Matthew Bonnet, and I am your state officer candidate from Lexington Richland 5 FFA chapter and from the Mid-State region. Now, the FFA has given me more stories than I could care to count. But one that comes back to my memory very recently is when I was at the Lexington County Farm Bureau discussion meet. At this discussion meet, we sat down with other FFA members and we discussed important topics in agriculture. And the topic we got in the final round was labels and what a label does to agricultural products, people, and consumers. And I got up and I started talking and I started going and I was going at it. And all of a sudden, in the middle of my rant, I looked up and I said, all natural is so unlabeled, I can take an all natural sticker, slap it on a five gallon bucket, and charge you twice as much. And most people wouldn't know. They would think, oh, it's all natural, it's worth more. And well, let me ask you something. Did that label change that bucket? The answer is no. That label has changed nothing with that bucket. It is the same piece of plastic with the same items inside of it. But there is one label that I have found over the years has always and will always change lives every time it is put on. And that is this blue corduroy. This jacket, from the first moment you put it on, transforms a shy green hand into somebody who is an inspiration to others. From the moment that green hand first walks into that classroom, very quietly sits down without saying a word, and then kind of floats through and floats by for the first couple weeks, and then they receive this jacket. It transforms them and opens them to a world of hard work, motivation, and confidence. This jacket has transformed my life and many others. This jacket, no matter how long we wear it, the impact of this organization, this jacket, will far outlast the time we spend in this jacket. This jacket has, for a long time, had a reputation that is astonishing. It is so astonishing, we have 600,000 members from all across the state, all different ethnicities, and yet they all wear the same jacket. When we put on this jacket, not only do we stand taller, not only do we stand prouder, not only do we stand more confident, but we stand together as one family, as one group, and as one team. And this jacket will continue for as long as it is worn by high school and middle school students and college students. It will continue to transform the lives of green hands, chapter degree holders, and all who wear it. Hey guys, my name is Tyler Lusk. I'm from the Dixie FFA chapter, and I'd like to start off by telling you a little bit my, about me as a green hand. You see, as a green hand, I wasn't the most outgoing guy. I didn't, I didn't do everything that most green hands would have. But you see, I say that to say this. You have a begin date and an end date in FFA, and the main goal is in between there is a dash and the main goal in your FFA career is to you you want to be transformed you see I'm standing up here as a state officer candidate and from my green hand days 
That, that was not me. I wouldn't have did it. I can tell you right now, it's not that bad. Yeah, I, I don't think y'all are biting me or anything, so we're, we're all right. But um, yes, I feel like, okay, there we go. Um, okay, green hands. You have a begin date and you have an end date in FFA. And in between that date, you have a dash. And on this dash, you, this, this has everything you have ever did in FFA. Me personally, my dash is great. I love my dash. I do have a few regrets in my dash. You see, my junior year, I competed at Souls on a regional event. And, well, we made it to state. And I didn't go on the state. I had a fishing tournament, so I said, okay, Mr. Sherrod, that's my advisor. I said, I'm not going to be able to make it. He said, okay, he understands. Next man up. And you see, well, I went on and had my tournament. I did not do good in my tournament. And, well, I get a text from a, man, from a guy on the team. He says, hey, man, we finished second. We're going to nationals. I kind of looked down and said, are you serious? Hey, I missed a chance at Oklahoma. I'll never get to do it again. But hey, that's, that's part of my dash. I want to advise you and tell you, Green Hands, young FFA members, you have a begin date, you have an end date. In between there's a dash. Make your dash everything you can be. Make it great. Don't have any regrets. I have regrets. Probably a few of you will have regrets, but that's what life's about. Make sure between your dash, your begin date and your end date, your dash transforms your life. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Philip Rhodes and I am your state officer candidate from the Calhoun Falls FFA chapter. Now, just think, one light switch or a couple light switches were able to control the electricity to all of these lights. Just as the light switch controlled the electricity to every single light in this room, someone or something influenced your thoughts on your passion. Now, chapter officers, former members and upperclassmen. Have you felt this passion? Was it a state officer coming up to you and speaking to you at your first state convention? Or was it you traveling the state of South Carolina competing in CDEs and interacting with other chapter members? Whatever this moment was, this was your light bulb moment. Now, a light bulb moment is that first initial feeling where you have thoughts on your passion. For me, this happened on February 23rd of 2014. Our chapter president at the time, Mr. Darren Ashley, came to Sunday school in his official dress. He then went on to explain that him and the officers that year had decided to just join together and come represent our chapter to kick off National FFA Week. I was astonished by the fact that they were so close and immediately I felt a sense of brotherhood that came with this organization. I knew that this is something that I wanted to be a part of. Green hands, have you felt this moment yet? You know, no matter what has gone on in your life, this was your light bulb moment where your passion began. I challenge you as green hands to find out what this moment was. Take advantage of every opportunity. Come out of your comfort zone and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. Once again, I'm Ka Philip Rhodes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm Philip Rhodes, your state officer candidate from the Calhoun Falls FFA chapter. I remember it just like it was yesterday. But first, let me back up a little bit. It was a new year, new semester, and just like everyone else, I had New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolution was I was gonna get all A's on my report card. And I did. Well, almost. I got my grades back, and as I'm going through the list, I'm extremely pleased. Algebra, A. English, A, 
ag b wait what a b I marched down to the ag building immediately and insisted on knowing why in the world I got a B. My ag advisor looked at me and said, I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. We're fixing to start prepare public speaking and inside I'm freaking out because me and public speaking did not get along. But he told me that he expected me to do really well and if I worked really hard, he would give me an A. I don't back down from a challenge, so needless to say, I worked helplessly and tirelessly for two months making sure that my speech was absolutely perfect. Long story short, not only did I get my A, but I was also chosen to compete in our region's CDE for prepared public speaking. A day before my CDE, Mr. Earl pulled me into the hallway to give me some words of wisdom. Now, these next five words have resonated with me since that day. He didn't say much, but he didn't have to. He looked me dead in my eyes and said, it's your time to shine. I've kept these words in the back of my head because it was in that very moment that I realized my full potential in the FFA. It was at that very moment that I realized I could truly go somewhere with this organization, and it was all because someone expressed their beliefs in me. My name is Lauren Kirkley. I'm from the MACV FFA chapter, and I proudly represent the PD region. <laughs> and um, as a state officer, I plan to do just this. I will never fail to tell you how much belief I have in your capabilities and how much faith I have in your potential. Together, we can transform FFA. South Carolina FFA, it is your time to shine. Thank you. My most favorite holiday of the year would have to be the 4th of July. I remember when I was younger, just sitting on a porch like this with my parents, sitting there eating burgers and fries like every traditional family does. But that wasn't my favorite part of the holiday. My favorite part of the holiday was the opportunity to shoot off fireworks. The opportunity to sit here and look in the sky and see the amazing displays they were was just the best thing that I could ever imagine. But what made them the amazing displays they were was us lighting their, their fuse. As green hands, we're a lot like unlit fireworks, full of this amazing potential to do amazing things and light up the sky, but sitting with unlit fuses. What we fail to realize is that this organization offers us so many opportunities. It may be for you finding that high quality SAE and taking advantage of the Proficiency Awards Program and the National Grant System. Or maybe for you, it's going and competing in that CDE and finding that love for competition and stepping outside of your comfort zones. Or maybe you were that shy kid in the back of the ag classroom, scared to death to speak in front of anyone. But you took that step and participated in creed speaking and you found a love for public speaking or a love for leadership. Or maybe for you, it's the countless memories that we make. You all know that on the trips we take to camps, conventions like this and national convention, that these are the best friendships and memories that we will ever make. FFA members, I want to encourage you to step out of your comfort zones and take advantage of all the opportunities this wonderful organization presents to you. My name is Abigail Lewandowski. I am from the Crestwood FFA chapter in Sumter, South Carolina, and I proudly represent the PD region, and I am honored to be one of your 2017 South Carolina State FFA officer candidates. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, South Carolina FFA. 
My name is Crystal Tyndall, proudly representing the Edisto FFA chapter from the Lower State Region. Now, since it's Thursday, I'm going to throw it back to freshman year, second semester, ag science. This girl was clueless. I was very timid and shy, so I would mainly just keep to myself. Later, I was introduced to the FFA, and just like that, I ignited, I sparked my flame, and my love for agriculture in the FFA spread like a wildfire. But the only thing that was in my way was my comfort zone. FFA members, don't let your comfort zone stand in the way of you being successful. Once you've broken free of that comfort zone, then it's time for you to go all out. I challenge you members to go all out by participating. Go to that chapter meeting. Take part in that community service event. Run for chapter office. Run for state office. Enjoy each and every second of state and national convention because your time in these blue corduroy jackets is limited. This year, I had the wonderful opportunity to serve as my chapter's president. I amplified my FFA chapter by boosting my impact. But seeing the progress of fellow members is what transformed me. I want to give back to this organization what is given to me. It is now time to put my purpose to action. If elected as a South Carolina FFA state officer, I will uphold my duties by encouraging members to break free of their comfort zone and that it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, you have a place in this organization. If we can, amp if we can ignite by fueling our passion, if we can go all out by reaching for each and every opportunity that this organization offers, if we can amplify, if we can amplify by boosting our impact, we can transform South Carolina FFA. Let me put my purpose to action by serving you. So, South Carolina FFA, are you ready to transform? <laughs>